Hi, I'm Steve from SF Marine. Today I wanted to give you an update on the 21 foot centre console that we're working on to be released at the Sea Anglian Classic this year. So now we're at the stage where we're looking at rigging uh, fuel tanks and conduit and things to make our lives easier when we get to the final fit out of the boat. As you can see we've got our two main longitudinals and the bulkheads going out to the sides. We've got our rigging tubes, which you can see down here and here, which come up and through into this compartment, will come through the deck and to the inside of the console. We've also got some smaller conduit on the sides here, here and up the bow. So we're going to be running four speakers off of this, which are going to be tucked into the gunnel. And, and so again, this is just to run the wiring up through and into the console. So we have less uh, faffing about later on and make our lives nice and easy um, and just try and keep it all methodical. And then later in life as well, if anyone wants to refit it or run, rerun the wiring, then it's all here ready for them. Um, it's not going to be uh, making their lives difficult. So here as well, we've got a 200 litre uh, custom aluminium tank. So this is a six millimetre plate. We've got our sender unit installed here, which we ran through. We've got our um, feed and air here so this side we've got two pipes on this so this one's for the fuel to go to the engine and then this one is for the breather which will run up to the filler cap which will be in the leaning post uh, just so when this has been filled obviously we've, we've got air, air release coming out of the cap on the gunnel as well so all the fumes are kept outside of the boat and then a relatively large uh, filler neck which will come up and swan neck up well come up to here won't be a swan neck um, so this is more the Mark II version now of the underfloor. We've also installed these, which are more base plates for the deck, because we are not, we haven't got a moulded skin, so we're not dropping a moulded skin inside of a hull and bonding it in that way. We're actually making the deck boards uh, as you more traditionally would. Um, and so this is to increase the footprint of the supports under the deck. And as you can see, they're, they're running off every bulkhead, as well as down the side of the hull as well, just to stop any um, pulling away from that. The boards will be laminated underneath and then capped again anyway and then fiberglass into the, the boat structure itself and it just will be bonded on here. Uh, so we have got a small drain running through uh, from the bow to the stern. So this one's been coated because it's the fuel tank we're going to be having fuel in here. The one that's up the bow there that you can't quite see is going to have a hatch in it as well. Um, it's just for under deck storage so we've got some hatches made up as well and then the one I'm sat in now is going to be the transducers. Now, Last time we mounted the transducers in the last compartment, we're actually bringing them slightly forward um, in the hopes we're going to get. I mean, the signal's good and that anyway, it's just some people say um, the, the more forward that you mount them, the better the quality will be overall. So we're just giving it a bit of a different try. Um, and then the cables can be ran through this side uh, up into the console as well because the transducer cables are quite large. Um, and once again, once the deck's down, because anyone could do this or, or retrofit it or upgrade it with multiple systems uh, just to make their lives easier. So we've got a moulded double well on the back here for single or twin outboard applications. And we're likely going to be installing a bilge pump in this as well. These two deck drains, that we're, two deck hatches that we're going to be having in the floor will also be drained as well. Uh, so they're quite uh, the low trough on them so they can be accessed at all times and it'll drain out the sides of the boat. So after this stage there's not much more really that we need to do now that's underneath the deck. Um, before we can get these boards in and start getting that laminated in and finishing that off. Um, obviously I'd say check, check, check again because I want to run some bilge pumps and we've got some skin fittings to do and things like that as well. So if they're going to run under the deck then it's best I install them now before um, I get too far ahead otherwise it's just going to make my life more difficult down the line. So yeah, she's um, pretty sturdy, feels all good. So this is a bit lighter than what we did last time. Uh, so we're just trying to maximise the speed uh, and the stiffening. So all the chines have been stiffened anyway, which you know, um, and hopefully this will just give us a good base point to work from going forward. Um, the, the only other thing that I may have to look at is we were having the live well on the stern here, is looking, maybe having a hatch underneath this well so that I can get in and have a seacock to power, well, to get water to the um, live bait tank so we can suck up through the bottom of the hull and then pump out the side. I think that's going to be the best option really, uh, so you'll just want to double check that before I get too far ahead on that, just to run that through. So yeah, the console's nearly done as well, so that's pretty good, so we're just finishing up on that now. And um, yeah, we've got lots of equipment to go on here anyway, so we're trying to give ourselves about a month or so to get
get all the equipment rigged up and, and fit in. Okay, well thanks very much, keep watching.